this is a medical video lecture OBGYN guys today here I'm gonna talk about the periodic changes at the time of evaluation of fetal monitoring tracing so what are the fetal what are the periodic changes you see periodic changes okay so as in the previous video we discussed about the baseline heart rate monitoring now here we talk about the periodic changes and this topic is a really very important for a medical students for um, even for what you call um, USMLE ex uh, appearing exam uh, students and for any other medical board examination so try to concentrate on this guys so what's the periodic changes they are usually apparent temporary variations of uh, what you call a fetal heart rate com uh, in relation to the what you call a uterine contraction whenever there's a uterine contraction there's a changes in the fetal heart rate the FHR I write it okay FHR is related to contraction so when there is a contraction there is a change in the fetal heart rate remember okay so either it can give acceleration or it can give deceleration okay so two types we can find out one is acceleration one is deceleration okay so let's talk with as um, what you call um, acceleration Remember, in the acceleration, there is an, what you call an uh, increase in the fetal heart rate, abrupt increase in the fetal heart rate above the baseline, lasting less than 2 minutes, less than 2 minutes, and these are unrelated to contractions, means it, they are not related to the contraction, okay? So what's the acceleration? There are what you call abrupt increase in the fetal heart rate. The heart rate increases, okay, above 160, um, above the baseline lasting less than two minutes and are unrelated to contraction. The timing is really very important, guys. Two minutes, less than two minutes is really very important. Remember, this criteria can vary, okay, can change depending on the gestational age, okay. So if the mother is less than three weeks of gestation okay three weeks of le less than three weeks of gestation the increase should be more than what you call or equals to 10 beats per minute okay 10 beats per minute lasting 10 seconds are equal to 10 seconds okay right remember if she is more than 32 weeks or equals to 32 weeks um, this increase should be more than or equals to 15 beats per minute okay and lasting for what you call 15 seconds equals to 15 seconds more than or equal to 15 seconds so if 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 you wanna see how does it look on a tracing let me draw over here okay so if this is a case let me draw this is a 180 this one is a 180 fetal heart rate and this is a hundred okay this is FHR fetal heart rate and this is uterine contractions let's talk about a zero and this is 50 okay around here is a 50 right so now let's see what happens when there is what you call a acceleration there will be abrupt increase in the what you call a heart rate so if this is a heart rate this increases the heart rate right so but it's unrelated to contraction okay so means unrelated to contraction contraction is here and here and here something okay so when there is a contraction it's not coinciding right can you see here here it's not coinciding with the contractions right so this is what the acceleration is guys so what's the cause for this what's the cause why why there is acceleration 
because of this what you call because of the fetal moments um, there uh, there is a activation of a sympathetic nervous system okay a sympathetic nervous system because of the fetal moments okay what's the interpretation is is acceleration are always good they are reassuring okay they are good right so this is really very important now let's move on to the next is early in a deceleration we have three one is early variable and the late decelerations let's talk about the early deceleration So what's the early deceleration? These are the gradual decrease in the what you call a fetal heart rate. Fetal heart rate decrease. Deceleration means now the heart rate should decrease, right? Below the baseline, beginning and the ending, simultaneously with the contractions means whenever there is no contraction, okay? Gradual decrease of fetal heart rate below the baseline, beginning and ending, simultaneously with the contraction, and these what you call uh, early deceleration are mediated by whom vagal nerve that is a vagal stimulation okay so if i want to draw the diagram and explain you let me try this is 180 fhr fetal heart rate this is a 180 above baseline and this is uh, what you call 100 okay and this is you try and contraction you see okay zero and a 50 let me write over here okay now let's see the fetal heart rate okay around we we'll take around here and when look at this this is deceleration okay around it's raising right when let me draw the two three okay time. okay so here you can see the contractions right so the uterine contraction over here, when there is a uterine contraction, there is a decrease in the fetal heart rate, okay? So this is known as early deceleration, remember, this is early deceleration, okay? And this is around of one minute time, one minute, okay? One minute time. So you find, what is the cause for this early deceleration, as I said, vehicle stimulation, and that's because of the head compression, and head compression, very important, head compression okay guys right head compression so let's talk about this next what's a, a, a interpretation of this uh, if there is a patient is having early deceleration means uh, no impact on a clinical outcome so nothing to worry okay so what is the triad for this early deceleration is a gradual drop of fetal heart rate gradual return of the fetal heart rate and it all shows a mirror image of the contraction means whenever there is a contraction there is a decrease in the fetal heart rate okay and it returns back that's really very important now let's talk about the variable variable deceleration variable deceleration What's the variable deceleration? These are abrupt decrease in the fetal heart rate. Deceleration means a decrease in the heart rate, right? So abrupt decrease in the fetal heart rate below the baseline of at least 15 beats per minute. Okay, with onset to nadir, with onset to nadir of nadir of less than 30 seconds. Okay. Abrupt decrease in the fetal heart rate below the baseline of at least 15 beats per minute with onset to nadir of less than 30 seconds. Why they are called variable? Because they are variable to the contraction. As we see in early deceleration, they are responding whenever there is a contraction. There is a decrease in the fetal heart rate. Means it's almost cont uh, what you call is just like a mirror image, right? It's just giving the mirror image. Whereas in a variable deceleration, name itself indicates it's a variable, it's not at all related to the contraction. Contraction is taking at the, some other time and the fetal heart rate is, uh, is low at some other time. Let me draw over here and explain you. If this is a fetal heart rate and this is a uterine contraction, the fetal heart rate is going down over here, here, here. Okay, the contraction is here, contraction is here again, then here. So you can see over here is not at all related. Okay, here here is a bradycardia, and here is a contraction. 
Okay, here is a bradycardia, here is a contraction, here is a bradycardia, here is a contraction. So it's not at all related to the contractions timing. Okay, so what is the cause for this? Again, the cause is vagal stimulation. And why it happens in an early gestation? It was due to the head compression. Here it's due to the umbilical cord compression. Umbilical cord compression. Okay, umbilical cord compressions. So in this variable uh, deceleration, we have mild, moderate, and the severe. In a mild variable, it's up to the what you call a 15 to 40 uh, beats drop per minute. Okay, drop of 15 to 40. Moderate is 40 to 60 beats per minute, and the severe is more than 60 beats per minute more drop off okay it's a drop drop off okay in a mild it's a 15 to 40 moderate 40 to 60 and the severe is more than 60 beats per minute lasting or last for 60 seconds okay what's the interpretation remember the mild and the moderate these two mild and the moderate have no impact on the clinical outcome so nothing to worry whereas the severe variable are non reassuring remember and may be associated with what you call fetal acidosis okay so if the patient is having variable dissipation nothing to worry but you have to ask whether it's a mild moderate or a severe if it's severe then you have to worry okay if it's a mild or a moderate nothing to worry no clinical outcome okay now let's move on to the late deceleration. What's a late deceleration? These are what you call a gradual decrease in the fetal heart rate. The gradual decrease in the not abrupt as we see in early and a late variable deceleration. Here is a gradual deceleration, gradual decrease in the fetal heart rate below the baseline with onset to nadir of more than 30 seconds or equals to 30 seconds in a variable we talked up to the 15 beats per minute okay 15 beats abrupt decrease in the onset to a nadir of less than 30 seconds here more than 30 seconds the deceleration onset and end is delayed in relation to the contraction its onset and end is delayed in relation to contraction means as if the contraction is taking place but the deceleration the what you call the onset the contra contraction is taking place but this, uh, the fetal heart rate is slowing late response not at the same time okay they are mediated by either what you call a vagal stimulation or by myocardial depression and occur in response to what you call the condition known as the utero placental utero placental insufficiency okay utero placental insufficiency and the causes for all these things you should know very well okay guys so remember all the decelerations are new non reassuring and may be associated with a fetal acidosis okay guys so these are really very important thing that you should know very well right so um, as we discuss acceleration and a and a deceleration we have early variable and the late okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care